Today, we're meeting the Smiling Gritters. But they're hiding a dark and scary secret. Watch until the end to see us unlock them in Roblox. The Smiling Critters, so happy when they smile. Smiling Critters theme song, guys. You heard it here first. Actually, they're kind of creepy, Tyler. Who are they? The Smiling Critters are some brand new characters we're going to meet in Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. That explains the creepy eyes. We got the elephant, the pig, the unicorn, the dog, the bunny, the cat, the bear, and the chicken thing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Tyler, why did you say the cat? Because the cat is supposed to be the scariest new character, and we're going to find out why right now. Guys, I found this weird VHS tape in my grandma's basement. It says it's a recording of an old commercial for the Smiling Critters, so let's check it out. Ooh, this looks fun. It's so bright and cute. S-M-I-L-E. I love it. Tyler, let's become a smiling critter. I wonder what my grandma had this. Ooh, look. It's a dark and spooky night in critter land. Ooh, there's bones on the clock. The uh, wind's really scary. Aw, oh, they're having a sleepover and they're scared. <laughs> I can't sleep. Hey, we'll be okay, guys. I promise. All winds blow away. Eventually. I hope they come out with more episodes of this. I hope so. Oh, who's at the door? Who is it? Is that the cat? Look at him, why is he so creepy? But he's smiling. How could they be smiling uh, and creepy? Please, help us go to sleep, catnap. We need it, catnap. Please help us what? Sleep, sleep, sleep. Help them sleep. Oh, gosh, what is that? I'm guessing it's the thing to help them sleep. <laughs> Why are they going crazy? Yo, they're all sleeping now. But are they ever going to wake up? What was so funny? Are they never going to wake up? Oh, no, Catnap. Put them to sleep. Check it out, guys. We can order the official plushies. Ooh, I want the bunny. I don't think I want any of these in my room. These are very creepy. Yeah, Tyler. Imagine them staring at you through your closet in the dark. They're basically pop figures, which I also think are creepy. By the way, guys, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you want to see us play Poppy Playtime Chapter 3. Let's check out the Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 steam page and see if we can find anything interesting look at this snowy is that catnap right there it definitely could be tyler guys we're gonna be meeting catnap in poppy playtime chapter three but stick around to the end of this video because we're gonna meet him in roblox too no way he's already in roblox yeah catnap and some of the other smiling critters are already in roblox and we're gonna unlock them at the end of this video but first let's check out the poppy playtime chapter three trailer now that we know who's gonna be in chapter three so Mommy Longlegs is no longer around, right? At least I hope so, Tyler. Remember we saw her get squished? Look what's going on. There's a Huggy Wuggy. Oh, who's that? Why are there scratch marks everywhere? Hey, wait, look, Zoe. Isn't that the bear? Oh, yeah, you're right. Why does that kid look so sad? Now that we know about the smiling critters, we can identify some of these characters. Oh, look, Zoe, it says time for bed. So Catnap's gonna come put you to sleep. Oh, no, but he's so creepy. Ooh, look at that phone. What's going on? It looks like it was dropped there. Yeah, there's scratches everywhere. Wait, I rejoice in him. <laughs> the original saved me. I live to serve our angel of salvation. Look, so he says he gives me nightmares. And there's purple. It's about catnap. So they worshipped catnap? Oh, like Huggy Wuggy? Maybe catnap worships someone else, Snowy, because he's the one scratching that with his claws. So true. Look at all these scratches. That's definitely from a cat. <gasps> the hand! The cat hand! It's catnap! That's catnap's hand! Yo, this is scary. Yeah, guys, this is definitely the most scary Poppy Playtype character. Is that his eye? Oh, it's Catnap! Look, Zoe! He's emitting his sleep gas. Oh, no, Tyler, we're all gonna fall asleep. Chapter 3, Deep Sleep. 
So is this character going to try and put us to sleep while we're trying to escape? Okay, guys, let's talk about some of these images that come with it. References to the smiling critters are hidden everywhere. It looks like a complete disaster in there. Wait, guys, look. I think that's all the red sleeping gas that Catnap makes. I don't know, Tyler. It kind of looks like lava. Hey, check this out. This is new. I've never seen this area of the factory. It kind of looks like a shrine to Huggy Wuggy. Is that who the cat was worshiping? Maybe because he wants to be like Huggy Wuggy. That's so true. And look, Tyler, he placed offerings on the ground under it. Oh, yeah. You know how cats are always catching things? He's definitely the one who's catching these toys. I bet you he worships Huggy Wuggy because the Smiling Critters show got canceled. And he wants to be like Huggy Wuggy in the spotlight. Okay, let's look at these last couple images. Whoa, look at this. What is this? Do you think it's part of the orphanage they were talking about? It looks like a whole padded room. Maybe this is where they try to lock up catnap. Maybe it's a sleeping room and that's why it's all padded. Okay, guys, next image. Let's see here. Whoa. Look at this, Suey. Oh my gosh, it's a bedroom. And there's the dog. And Boxy Boo. I wonder whose room this is. But look, Tyler, there's scratch marks all over the wall. Yeah, there's scratch marks all over the wall. And is that a door right there? Oh my gosh, Snowy. You know what I just realized? What, Tyler? Look at those things that look like showers. They probably pump out the sleeping gas. Oh yeah, you're so right. Maybe it's a way that they would put the kids to sleep because they would stay up too late. Guys, worst sleepover ever. Okay, last image before we meet some of the smiling critters. So check this out, Zoe. It says the hour of joy, but it's all like written in blood. But Tyler, maybe this whole place got all messed up because they had a really awesome party. Oh yeah, it was an hour of joy. <laughs> hey, look, Zoe. I guess the dog thinks reading is fine. And the elephant likes to do math. Interesting. So we're gonna see a lot more references to the smiling critters in the next chapter. Okay, guys, time to meet some of the smiling critters. Okay, guys, we've made it over to Mob Entertainment's Twitter. They've been leaking a ton of secrets about chapter three. First of all, check out their banner. Look, Zoe. That's Catnap's hand. So Catnap's been the one who's killing all the toys. Guys, that confirms it. But why do the toys have blood in them? Okay, guys, so one by one, Mob Entertainment has been posting pictures about the smiling critters. So let's Let's take a look. Check this out, Zoe. We got Bubba Bubba Fint. <laughs> Bubba Bubba Fint is the brains of the critters. Bright and attentive, he keeps his friends steady and always steers them to make smart choices. That way, they all might grow up to be bright and brilliant, each in their own right. And look, Zoe, he has a scent. Lemongrass. So are they all scented plushies? That's pretty awesome. Okay, guys. Next smiling critter, we got Bobby Bear Hug. A kind, caring soul. Bobby Bear Hug shows compassion for everyone and for everything. People and places, things large or small, are all receivers of her love. Each is enriched by this attention and affection, and in turn, so is she. Aw, she's so cute. And look, Zoe, she smells like roses. Ooh, I want a hug from her. Next character, we got Crafty Corn the Unicorn. A conscious observer of both color and creativity in the world. Crafty Crafty Corn understands the importance of art and sharing it with others. Crayons, pencils, paint, or words on the page. Crafty Corn can see beauty in anything imagined. And Crafty Corn's scent is jasmine. I like Crafty Corn because Crafty Corn cares about art. There's not enough art lovers in this world. Hey, Zoe, look, it's Kicking Chicken. This is Kicking Chicken, the cool kid of the crew. He's so cool, Tyler. Hey, yo, what's Kicking Chicken? He maintains that sense of cool through anything, even the most tense of situations. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know, guys. Does that look like he's maintaining his sense of cool? He looks kind of scared. And kicking chicken smells like Lang Lang. Okay, what is Lang Lang? I guess Lang Lang is a tropical plant. Okay, I did not know that. I thought he would smell like fried chicken. Oh my gosh, look, Zoe, they already have a catnap plushie. The game's not even out yet. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd want that at my roommate night. It's creepy. And the last character that they've given us info about is Dog Day. He's the sunny, strong, and determined leader of our critters. Remember, so he's the leader of the critters, so they all went to his house. Of course, he called the couch. Each character trusts him to find the bright side in any situation and to have 
a friendly word of encouragement should they feel down. So that's why he was telling them that this store would go away. All right, Zoe, we have made it to the back rooms. Are you excited to have a sleepover with the smiling critters? Yeah, it's gonna be so much fun. We're about to make like eight new friends, Tyler. All right, so let's check out the morphs. Look at this, update 424. We got Catnap, we got Picky Piggy, we got Bubba Bubba Finn, and the Green Bunny who has not been named yet. Let's take a look at the badges and see if there's any hints. Check it out. It says the Green Bunny is in the garden. Like the garden of Ban Ban? Yeah, so let's teleport there. Be on the lookout for a Green Bunny, guys. Hey, maybe he's in this green room. Let's see. I don't see any morphs in here. Look, Tyler, it says go to the vents. Vents? Where are the vents? Oh, there's a vent right there, and I see a morph. Come on, Silly, let's go grab it. If we get the Green Bunny, let's ask him his name. Hey, it's him. Hey, aren't you supposed to be a smiling critter? You don't look like you're smiling. That's because I don't remember my name. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they'll give you a name soon. That makes two of us. I don't remember my name either. Anyway, would you like to come to our sleepover? Only if my friend Picky Piggy comes with me. She's down one of the slides right there. Uh-oh, we're gonna have to choose one. You know what that means, Snowy. Choose a slide. The ultimate high-stakes backrooms game show where the viewer decides if we live or die. All right, Tyler. I chose last time, so you choose this time. Okay, I'm counting the votes. I'm counting the votes. Guys, while Tyler's counting the votes, hit the like button and comment down below which slide we should choose in the next video. Red or blue? You can vote as many times as you want to. And the slide you chose, the winner. Winner is red! Red for the win. Come on, come on, come on. Please be the no! Ooh, that's gotta hurt. In the last video, we got 244 votes for red and only 226 for blue. Comment down below which slide I'm gonna choose in the next video. But please choose right this time. Okay, Snowy Picky Piggy should be around here somewhere. <laughs> Did you hear that? It was coming from this drain. Come on, Tyler. Let's go check it out. Let's see. Whoa, it's a whole secret underground backrooms area. I still don't see anyone, though. They must be behind this door. Look, Tyler. There's a morph over there. That must be Picky Piggy. Come on, give me Picky Piggy. Yes, it is. I'm Picky Piggy, and I like burgers. Hey, Picky Piggy. Have you seen Catnap anywhere? Catnap? Oh, no. I don't like Catnap. He always makes me go to sleep before I've eaten my dinner. Oh, it must be hard to sleep when you're hungry. Oh, no. Catnap makes it really easy to sleep, actually. How about Bubba Bubba Finn? Oh, Bubba's down here with me. He's just right over there. Thanks, Picky Piggy. Come on, silly. Let's grab Bubba Bubba Finn. Yes, it's him. Hey, it's Bubba Bubba Finn. Why do you look so sad, Bubba? I'm sad because Catnap called me a nerd just because I like math. Oh, sorry to hear that, Bubba. Anyway, do you want to come to our sleepover? Only if Catnap's not there. He scares me. Man, Snowy, Catnap doesn't sound very nice. Hey, we should find Catnap and teach him how to be a good friend. Great idea, Snowy. For the hint, it says that Catnap is in the baby garden for baby birds. That sounds like Opila's room. Come on, Snowy, let's teleport to the garden of Ban Ban and check if Catnap's around here somewhere. I'm pretty sure this is Opila's room, but I don't see a morph anywhere. Hey, there's one hiding behind this tree. Oh my gosh, do you think it's Catnap, Snowy? There's only one way to find out. It is! Hey, it's me, Catnap. How y'all doing? Catnap, we're just here because someone needs to teach you how to be a good friend. Oh, is that so? Did you get enough sleep last night? Uh, why? I don't see what that has to do with... <laughs> oh, man, what What's all this red gas that he just breathed out? I'm starting to kind of feel tired. Uh, yeah, me too. So, oh, yeah, I think I'm falling asleep. That's taking care of them. Now all that's left is for you to hit the like button. Also, click on one of those videos that's on your screen right now. <laughs>